Hey, what's up drama lovers? It's your girl bringing you all the juicy deets from the Chinese drama scene. Buckle up cause we've got some spicy drama to dive into today. So, you know that Tencent streaming platform, right? Well, word on the street is they're thinking of dropping the second season of Lost You Forever sooner than expected, all thanks to the massive hype around amidst a snowstorm of love. And let me tell you, the internet is losing its mind over this news, but hold up, things ain't all rainbows and butterflies for Yangzi. Homegirl's catching some heat from Deng Wei's fans cause of some interview she did before Chinese New Year. She spilled some beans about her role and the dudes in the series, and Deng Wei's crew ain't having it. Next thing you know, we got ourselves a full-blown beef between the fandoms, and it's getting spicy. So Yang Zhe was chatting it up on some Chinese show called Renu before the new year, talking about Deng Wei's characters and stuff. She was all like, yo, Tishan Jing is all about settling down, but he's still got that family influence, you feel me? Then she goes on to say that if she had to settle down for real, she'd roll with Wang Hong Yi, aka Feng Long, cause he's all fun and cute or whatever. And that got people talking. But Deng Wei's fans weren't having any of it. They're pulling out old articles dissecting the original novel, and basically saying Yang's has got it all wrong. They're like, nah, Tishan Jing ain't just some family guy, he's got layers, man. They're straight up dissing Yang's interpretation of the character and saying it's a slap in the face to Deng Wei's acting skills. Shots fired, y'all. Then the official Lost You Forever Weibo jumps in, trying to play Peacemaker, saying like, yo, this is the only legit account so chill and get ready for season 2, but let's be real. Everyone's reading between the lines and seeing it as a thumbs up to Yangza. Meanwhile, Yangza's squad ain't taking none of Deng Wei's fans' drama. They're clapping back hard, calling them out for stirring the pot and throwing shade on Yangza's professionalism. It's like watching a soap opera unfold before our very eyes, and honestly, I'm here for it, can't wait to see how this showdown plays out before the new season drops. And speaking of drama, Zhao Liying and Lin Gengxin are cooking up something epic with the legend of Shen Li. Now you know Zhao Liying had been laying low in 2023, focusing on the big screen and all. But guess what? She's back on the small screen with the legend of Shen Li. And let me tell ya, the buzz surrounding this drama is off the charts. Word on the street is that Tencent might drop the legend of Shen Li in March. And with all the hype from the drama crew and Lin Gengxin dropping hints left and right in interviews, it's looking like a done deal, folks. So what's the scoop on this drama? Well, Zhao Liying is playing Shen Li, the boss lady of the demon realm who's actually a phoenix in disguise. Talk about a wild setup. She gets shafted by some two-faced pals, ends up injured, and crash lands in the human world, only to be mistaken for a chicken. Yeah, you heard that right, but luckily she gets saved by the hunky Lin Gengxin who plays the passing god Xing Ji. And let me tell you, Zhao Liying ain't messing around in this one. She's rocking some serious martial arts skills, wielding a long spear like a pro. Plus her character is all about integrity, loyalty and not taking crap from anyone. You gotta respect that. Now here's the kicker. Behind the scenes footage shows Zhao Liying putting in the work, training hard to nail those fight scenes and spear moves. And get this, it's rare to see a leading lady using a long spear in a fantasy martial arts drama. But hey, if anyone can pull it off, it's Zhao Liying. But check it, there was some drama behind the scenes too. Zhao Liying was hesitant to sign on cause of past adaptations gone wrong. Can't blame her after the mess with Princess Agents and Legend of Fae, right? But the director came through, promising her the producer gig and locking her in. And rumor has it, she even roped in Lin Gengxin to make up for the Princess Agents' disappointment. Talk about turning lemons into lemonade. As a producer, Zhao Liying's going all out aiming for that S-plus refinement level. Real settings, original authors on board. She's leaving nothing to chance. So buckle up folks, the legend of Shen Li is about to take us on one heck of a ride. But wait, there's more drama incoming, alright so check this out. Tian Shiwei wrapped up her role in the historical drama Guardians of the Da Feng with Wang Hudi towards the end of last year. Then, just last month, she jumped back into action, teaming up with Xu Kai for another period drama called Moonlit Reunion, but hold up, the tea's still piping hot because now words out that she's gearing up for yet another project, and this time, she's teaming up with Liu Yuning for a new historical drama titled The Days of Seclusion and Love, directed by none other than Chen Jisung. But hold on to your hats folks cause Tian Shiwei's fans aren't exactly thrilled about it. So what's The Days of Seclusion and Love all about? Well, it's based on a novel by the big shot writer Bai Lu Cheng Shuang. The story follows this dude named Guan Qingyue, who's been on the battlefield since she was knee-high to a grasshopper cause her old man dragged her along. But things go south when her pops gets framed by some shady characters, leaving Guan Qingyue and her fam in the lurch. To clear their name, 
Guan Qingyue, now going by Guan Fengyue, heads over to the Ye Kingdom to set up shop and help out war refugees. Along the way, she crosses paths with the main squeeze from the Li Kingdom, Yin Geji. Now you'd think it's all hearts and flowers, right? But hold your horses. Some folks who've read the original novel are saying there's more drama than a soap opera. Apparently, this Yin Geji dude goes around blaming Guan Fengyu's whole fam for treason without so much as a fact check. That leads to Guan Fengyu's family getting wrecked, and she ends up in the oldest profession in the book. And if that ain't enough, Yin Geji's got himself a whole harem and acts like a total player. And get this, Guan Fengyue even sneaks into his bed but she's too chicken to spill the beans. Later on, when she becomes his concubine, guess who her first John is? Yup, you guessed it, Prince Charming himself, talk about a messed up love story. Now, Tian Shiwei's fans ain't buying it. They're saying the storyline is straight up ancient, and it's got more holes than Swiss cheese. They reckon no matter how much they tweak it, it's gonna flop hard. Plus, they're not vibing with how Guan Fun Yu's supposed to be this badass general but ends up acting like a doormat. They're like, nah, this ain't it, chief. And things are getting real spicy online let me tell you, people are already talking casting choices, and Liu Yuning's name keeps popping up before Tian Shiwei's. You can bet your bottom dollar her fans ain't too pleased about that. But hey, some netizens are all about Liu Yuning, saying he's been killing it in other shows and deserves the top spot. But hold on to your hats cause it gets even juicier. Tian Shiwei's fans caught wind of some producer's Weibo account, and apparently they were throwing shade at her. Naturally, her fans weren't having any of it, and they're calling for her to get the boot from the show. They're changing their profile pics, making a big ol' fuss, and even threatening to shut down fan clubs until they get some answers. But wait, there's more drama. Rumor has it Tian Shiwei's already signed on the dotted line for the days of seclusion and love. Looks like this train's left the station, and there's no turning back even if her fans are ready to storm the castle. Strap in folks, cause this ride's just getting started. And let's not forget about Chung Lei and Zhou Ye heating things up in Legend of the Female General. Now, Legend of the Female General ain't your run-of-the-mill story. It's based on the novel Rebirth of a Star General by Qian Shan Chaka. Picture this. Zhou Ye plays He Yan, a natural-born badass on the battlefield who gets betrayed and offed by her own peeps. But guess what? She wakes up in a new life as a military officer's daughter and decides she ain't playing second fiddle to nobody. She joins the army and crosses paths with the icy cool general, Xiao Wei, played by none other than Cheng Lei. Together, they're on a mission to save the day and bring peace to the land. Talk about epic. Cheng Lei's been making waves in the acting scene, especially after his killer performance as General Xiao in a familiar familiar stranger back in 2022. And last year, he stole hearts as Gong Shangzhou in My Journey to You, cementing his status as a rising star. Now Cheng Lei's got a bunch of new projects in the pipeline, including Follow Your Heart with Luo Yunxi and Song Yi, and Fangs of Fortune with Chen Doling and Ho Ming Hao. But the real deal is Legend of the Female General, where he's taking the lead alongside Zhou Ye, who's been killing it lately with hits like Youth in the Flames of War and Back from the Brink. Their on-screen chemistry off the charts, and let me tell you, the hype is real. First, we got a sneak peek at a super romantic forehead kiss scene on a boat, dripping with feels and tenderness. Then they hit us with a wedding scene that had fans swooning as Chung Lei couldn't wipe that grin off his face while holding Zhou Ye's hand. Cue the melting hearts, but hold on to your seats cause things are heating up even more. Word on the street is there's a steamy horseback kiss scene on the horizon, and fans are losing their minds in anticipation. So what do you think about all this drama? Are you Team Yangzi or Team Deng Wei? Excited for Zhao Liying's comeback or siding with Tian Shiwei's fans? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more drama updates. Until next time, drama fam.